Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you a trick on how you can find the right crawled property for your SharePoint metadata column. Now, this is only uh, useful uh, for situations when you want to create your uh, kind of unique, uh, I guess, uh, search experience or search query if you are going to be creating custom managed properties. Um, so if you're into that, uh, definitely you will find uh, this trick uh, pretty useful. Now, typically when uh, you create, uh, you know, custom metadata, for example, I have this SOPs library and I have this column over here called a division. Um, Typically, the crawled property contains, you know, right, it has its own naming convention, uh, which, by the way, I published guidelines for, uh, you know, and the whole naming convention on my blog. Uh, but the name of the column is typically part of that, uh, of that crawled property. So, for example, in my case, uh, I created this uh, choice column called division. Uh, the crawled property should be something like OWS underscore division. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and find it then. Uh, I'm going to um, open the search schema and let me show you what um, could happen, you know, at any point, right? Uh, if you are trying to find uh, the right, uh, you know, crawl property. Uh, so I'm going to navigate to search schema, of course, and I am on that uh, site uh, where we had um, uh, that library and the column uh, created. So I'm going to click on uh, crawl property, uh, crawl properties tab. And uh, once it loads uh, right here, I think it loaded right here. I can uh, search for that uh, crawl property. So I'm going to type in uh, the name. So, or at least uh, the name of the, my column, right? Because it should be part of that. And let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, all right? So now it did find, but you know, this is not the right one, all right? It did find a few um, crawl properties that contain this keyboard, but remember my column was named division, all right? This is something else. It's like division, a line of business. Uh, so uh, we, uh, this is not the right crawl property for that column. So how do we find the right crawl property uh, for the uh, column? So let me show you, I'm going to go back to my library. Um, let's go behind the scenes, all right? So what we need to do, here is a trick. Gear icon, library settings, more library settings. And uh, right here, here is my column, right? It's a choice column. Uh, but obviously I couldn't find the right crawl property. But let me click on this column, all right? Let me click on this column. And of course, right, this is where you can define whatever the choices are for that column. But look at the URL. All right, look at this. At the end of the string in the URL, uh, it uh, tells us that the field name is actually business function. What does it mean? Uh, well, what it means is that when I created this library, all right, when I created this library, I initially, uh, when I created this column, I actually uh, created uh, the column name called business function. And then I went in and I renamed it. So this used to say business function. And then I renamed it to division. However, uh, the crawl property, no matter what the new name is of the column, the crawl property, property will still retain the old name. So you can change it 10 times right now, but the crawl property would be whatever it was when the column was originally created. So uh, what that means is that now that I know what the original name was, I can go to my search schema again. So um, actually we will want to go to uh, site information, site settings, search schema again. And we want to go uh, once it loads to crawl properties tab. And what I'm going to type in now is not uh, the new name. I'm going to type in the old name and uh, I can obviously type in just business. So let's just do business function, right? And let's see what happens in this case. So I did click the search button and look at this. Here is the right curl property for this particular column. All right, uh, the, it still retains the old uh, name. 
And the naming convention, uh, that's the right naming convention, by the way, for the curl property because it's a choice column, right? Uh, it's OWS underscore whatever the abbreviation, the, the, the name of the column uh, was, the original one. And now, you, of course, right, uh, you can map it to your managed property, something I already did in my tenant, but um, that's actually the subject for another video. Uh, but um, uh, once again, so very, very important um, if, you know, if you are going to create managed properties, uh, make sure to grab the right, you know, curl property, right? It always, it doesn't hurt to go behind the scenes in the library uh, settings and check out that URL, that uh, name uh, in, the, in the URL and see what the old name was. And then you will have a chance to uh, access the correct curl property. So that's all I wanted to share in this uh, video. Hopefully you found it informative and useful. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, uh, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.